Hello. Uh, in the previous uh, video, I defined the instantaneous center uh, and how it's used as a shortcut to solve problems involving rigid bodies in general plane motion, combination of translation and rotation. So uh, let me just review that. And in this video, I want to talk about some uh, special cases. Uh, but uh, the location of ice is very simple. If you have a rigid body that is going through combination of translation and rotation, so if let's say I draw my rigid body, uh, so let's say this is our rigid body, and this rigid body, let's say, is rotating uh, counterclockwise and translating at the same time, right? Let's say up or down. And we need basically in general a uh, velocity of two points on the body. So let's say if you have point A, here and point B here and we have velocity of A let's say it's given to be a vector like that and velocity of B to be something like this and um, the way we're going to find the, the location of the, uh, the instantaneous center is very simple as shown earlier in another video, we'll draw perpendicular to the velocity of A at A, so 90 degrees, and then to the velocity of B at B, and the point of intersection becomes the instantaneous center, and as we have seen earlier, velocity of this point would be zero. So this is actually the general uh, case, uh, the more typical case, uh, that velocity of two points are given and they have basically no relation. Uh, now, the special cases that I want to talk about are cases like, let me move to the next page, like, so for example, what if the two velocities are parallel to one another? So you have velocity of A is parallel to velocity of B, but they are not equal to one another. So VA is not equal to VB. So let's take a look at this. So let's say if you have a rigid body like this and they have velocity of two points, let's say velocity of A and velocity of B. And notice that I have actually lined these up on a vertical line. And I'll talk about this in a minute. So this is, let's say this is velocity of A and say this is velocity of B. So velocity of A and B are parallel to one another, as you could see, but they are not equal to one another. So how do we go about finding velocity of uh, this? Uh, how, how, how are we going to locate the instantaneous center? In other words, a point where this whole rigid body is in pure rotation about this point. Well, in this method, we just um, connect A to B and extend it like that. And then we connect the end or extremities of A and B. The point of intersection right here becomes the instantaneous center. So notice that here velocity has to be 90 degrees to radius or radii here. So velocity of B has to be perpendicular to BC and velocity of A has to be perpendicular to AC. Uh, so the question is what if we had a situation like this. So we had, say, point A here, right, with some velocity of A, and point B here with some velocity of B. Then can we do this? Can we connect A to B and connect the extremities and say this is the instantaneous center? The answer is no. This is not acceptable because these angles are not 90 degrees. The radii has to be perpendicular to the velocities. So this is not acceptable. So could we have a case like that? The answer is no, that cannot happen actually. The only way that you could have the two points not on a vertical line and you know being of different values is that if actually the velocity of A and B be equal to one another. So you could have a case like this, where this is A, or this is B, and this is A. They are not lined up, but 
velocity of A and velocity of B, they must be equal. This is acceptable. In this case, this body is only translating and the angular speed omega is equal to zero. So this is the pure translation case. And that's okay, because actually the center, the instantaneous center is at infinity, or the radius is infinite. So this is possible. So now, other cases I want to show you. So let's go to the next page. What if the velocity of A is parallel to velocity of B? They are, could be equal or different, but they're going in the opposite direction of one another. So that would be a case like this. And again, we have to line them up. So let's say this is A. This is B. Velocity of A is like this. But velocity of B is in the other direction. And they are not necessarily equal to one another, but they are parallel to one another. So basically the same idea is used. So connect A to B and then connect the extremities. And this time C would be somewhere between A and B. If velocity of A and B are equal, then C would be right in the center of A and B. And if they are not equal, then C could be closer to A, closer to B. And by actually similar triangles or a slope concept, you could figure out these distances C A and C B and then use them to solve the problem. Now, in the next video, I will show you some examples of how the instantaneous center is located and we could use it to solve for angular speed or velocity of other points. Thank you.